Uh, some would say that it's only a discerning viewer that can be a true critic. Judge for yourselves. So pick yourself up, NTA. NTA is Nigeria Television Authority, owned by the government of the nation. And on Monday, on what is prime 9 o'clock news, it was reported that Major General Buhari, Nigeria's president, sent 80th birthday congratulatory message to one Umaru Mutalab. Then, as has become customary, the Secretary to the Federal Government announced yet another retreat for civil servants, for whom he certainly has email addresses and telephone numbers. It was reported that the Inspector General of Police held a meeting with a, selected, a selection sorry, of top officers to take stock ahead of 2020. No, we were not told any more than that. And that was it for that news item. It is usual to have NTA inform us of a visit to the President by all sorts of people, ambassadors, governors, all sorts, but no news of the proper goings on in this very large country of 200 million people. There was news about a church which had an award ceremony on National Network News. I'm going to suggest that NTA in its present form be either shut down or open to partnership with private companies. Whatever is spent there right now is a precious waste of our slim resources which can be used elsewhere. NTA is an embarrassment to the 60-year-old nation. The standard of programs is generally low, the news reading well below par. It is simply a series of announcements of the social events the president attends to. Not attends, attends to. The net result is that the image portrayed is actually one of a lazy, inept, and confused government, even if that may not be what the government is. That, and, it, and a confused government that believes the country is made up of unenlightened people who will be satisfied with a worthless coverage by NTA. And this is without even the psychophantic content of that same station. The Ministry of Information should deal decisively with the state of NTA, while Nigerians should demand better service or stop patronizing the network. You want to I'm jump in? <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't think you have been fair with um, the... You're like it's, an advocate for balance. Yes, yes, he's, he's, the bashing is so much. <laughs> One, I think there has to be a measure. What are you measuring NTA with? Are you measuring NTA with... BBC. BBC, oh, you understand? <laughs> We're Africa. Even with channels. Do you understand? We're Africa. TV. Our people, don't, they're not as enlightened as you think. You have to communicate with them in the language they understand. Do you understand? NTA has the largest coverage in Nigeria. <laughs> right? Because it's government, that, that's because it's government. It is. Yes. So they reach, they reach a huge, a large number of right. audiences. Which is why I'm And they have to commun communicate to them in, in a manner that they would they'd understand. So that might inform the, maybe the language, down or down maybe they don't speak in some kind of uh, accent or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, sure I don't know. I, I know. I don't know. I don't know what the basis. But because you what but that's, but that's not what. That's not Chuka's argument. If you, yeah. if, you'd, uh, if, you'd ask, if you'd if you'd ask if you'd if I'll tell you that the NTA I know growing up mm. yes. and the NTA we have today yes. there definitely has been some Can I? movement. Say, okay. Right. Progressive. Really? Progress. Has, yeah. They have, so, say they I'm going to ask you a very important question. Uh, and all of us, okay. and, and that will form the basis of my own retort okay. to this. Okay. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you watched? I was going to ask that same question. Yeah. I haven't watched NCA. Okay, so, so, so this I've is been it. watching you, you regularly. I, I know he does. I yeah. started watching references to see. Once in a while, I yeah. do. Mm. So this is, this is my point. And I gave a speech somewhere uh, to a group of industry people and young people a few, a few weeks back. And I asked a question randomly and said, how many, there was like um, 100 and something people in the audience, how many people here yeah, watched NTA in the last week? And in a room of about 100 people, less than six people raised there. I don't think yeah. it was up to six people even. Mm. Um, Ask that same question in, in uh, Zamfara or... Uh, yes, in the that's, those the danger. that's the danger now. Do you understand? Listen, and listen, you understand? Yes. I, I, I'll tell you this. Um, you know, I, I, was, I had the good fortune of, of working in that sector. I yeah. was head of... Uh, the regulatory uh, agency uh, for broadcasting. You find in parts of the north, there's we have a problem. Um, in in Adamawa, in Zamfara, in uh, uh, um, I mentioned what's the other state where there was actually no media, so people were getting uh, people were getting information from Cameroon. 
Mm. There was really no, where's that Buni Yadi? Where, that, where students were killed, were slaughtered by, by terrorists um, in 2000, I think it was 2013 or 14. There was a, virtually, you could not get any radio reception apart from um, radio reception the, from Cameroon. The choice is limited. So you have an absence. So mm. yes, um, but that, is, that brings me to Chuka's point. You have a fundamental obligation to provide programming and content that's relevant to the people. Mm -hmm. NTA, in my view, have not, they've not fulfilled close to 20% of that obligation. Mm -hmm. What they have turned themselves into, and sadly, and I'll say this without, with all sense of responsibility, is a government Mouth peer piece. Agency. Yeah. That's a good one at that. And they're not doing even a good job. A good job. That's what I'm because saying. I can tell you job. that things that this administration have done and done quite well. Yeah. That if you were to if you were to be delicate about it, what you will do is not to start by telling us the president has done this. Tell me the benefit, for example, and they're good sides to everything. Yeah. Okay, let's even say the so-called border closure. Yeah. That in some respect, do some documentary. Yeah, has given rise to some positive things. Start by saying, do the feedback on that. Start it from that perspective, then link it to the government. To the government, yeah. Or education, health, they're not doing a good job. Well, let's, not, let me... let's not, let's not, I mean, so your question in comparison to other, how do you measure them? Not, mm -hmm. Let's forget about BBC. Yeah. How do you measure them with even stations Nigerian in stations. Nigeria? Nigeria, yes. They're not doing well. Well, let me, let me, call let's, in. let's not. You know, let's not mean words. Let, let, about, let me let me also come in because I feel, and I'm not, I don't mean any disrespect, but I feel that we mustn't dumb down our expectations. I, I like the fact that Chuka, because I, what I see is that he has a commitment to seeing good television by, and he even cares enough to do an advocacy on it because I don't watch it. The only time I hear NTA is when people use them as a reference for backward practice. Ah, please don't do like NTA. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's it. And that tells you what they become synonymous with, unfortunately. So when you mention NTA, it's almost like one archaic, one old, okay. you know, you don't want it. So they need to revamp themselves and make themselves relevant. When I, to bring in the BBC though, you have to ask what is the funding? Because a lot of times, you know, right. what people are able to do comes back to the funding. And they're taxed. They, it's, some, to, to a large extent, from the taxes people pay, their TV license goes to the BBC. Right, so right. we, again, here, we don't mind if they were performing a service that was uh, service-oriented to give us information, not even as a propaganda machine, to serve us, to give us information and enlightenment and gain access to places in government that other TV stations would not have, to yeah. reports and things. We don't mind. We're happy to tune into them. And, and, and the point he made, that they're an embarrassment, makes, made me realize that actually there are, whether we like it or not, there are ambassadors. You know, so I may not watch them, I may laugh at yeah. them, but the world sees NTA yeah. as a representation of what of Nigerian, Nigerian broadcasters. And so they need to up their game for the sake of our identity, our brand. Exactly. You know, so definitely I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Chuka, and I'm glad that you brought this up because I really do think, I hope enough people from NTA I'm watch this yeah. and feel enough, you know, feel enough mm -hmm. shame to say, look, we can do something about this. We mustn't continue to allow ourselves to fall down this. It's not even mediocrity anymore. No, it's, it's, it's actually down yeah. below no mediocrity. mediocrity. Uh, no, we can't accept that. But uh, uh, is there any agency, government ad agency, that's doing as well? The, the NTA is and just so a we, reflection we, of Nigeria. So we should yeah. accept Corruption it. And should, everything. The fact that it is understand? doesn't mean we should accept it. No, I understand. Mm. There's, a, there's a whole lot that needs to be done. Uh, concerning paying a little something, the audience, the viewership for NT, it's mm. in the remote places. They cannot afford the yeah. little something, yeah. something yeah. you're talking they get, about. They get, they get, they get you know, paid. We by, subsidize they're, them. They're, yeah. they're subsidized by the government. Mm. They earn advertising revenue. No, I know. So, it's because of um, government subsidy to, that, is yeah, good, that, that we have a kind of value. Compared to private TV stations, yeah. to private TV stations they're they operate in the same market, mm -hmm. collect the same advertising revenue, right. and they're funded also by government. Yeah. Capital as well as, as, uh, as overhead cost. So... And they collect revenue, massive revenue. Mm. So let's not, you know, um, baby them and say, oh, you should do better. Mm. That's my opinion. Yeah, to watch, so I watch sorry, regularly. I, I do watch yeah. it. I, well, just it's like I, I don't it's, remember it's, the last time I sat down to, you know, turn it into NBA <laughs> to watch. But really, I can say for a fact that I think they're also do, they're doing a really poor job. Mm. And I, I don't think that any youth in this present day and time would, you know, tune in to NTA because what would they, what would they want to say? And I think also, like um, every government agency, the issue of bureaucracy has, you know, you know, mm. it's in deep into yeah. NTA as a whole. You know, when you sit down and um, they're putting food on your table okay. for doing nothing. Okay. So, for instance, you look at the private, um, private media houses, you know you have to work 
to get to to, um, yeah. to get food on your table. That's you know, you have point, to. There's competition. There's accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Accountability as well. So you know, just, just sitting down. Food comes to their whether, table whether you, from the government, yeah. or whether it comes or it doesn't come. Food yeah, comes, yeah, you know, you have to, you know, do whatever. Yes. Just go on air. Whatever you, you present, the people will take it like that. Oh, yeah. I believe that, that in this yes. world we're living, the role of public broadcasting is even more important. Yeah. And that's, I want them to realize that as well. Yes. That the role that they have is, is very strategic exactly. to, to and, building and someone, a nation. Someone even made the, just as a specific uh, correction input, that someone said that the fact that they wanted to be in every state, you know, was also part of the problem. Probably. That they should have just focused on a few and, and then, then grow, grow from, from there. there. Yeah. Absolutely, exactly, yes. So we speak in an uncompromising way because we have high expectations for our nation, Nigeria. So continue the conversation with us on social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag, the advocate ng or twitter and instagram at plus tv africa hashtag the advocate ng to catch up with previous broadcasts go to plus tv africa.com forward slash the advocate and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa as we cross over in the new year let's raise the bar together let's keep advocating for a better society happy new year and goodbye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Happy New Year. Time for another disclaimer. The views of this America, this one you're watching, are entirely his own. <laughs> sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. Can we, can we do that again? <laughs> Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.